river of life. And if you're on this side of the room, you're gonna be splish. Splish! And if you're on this side of the room, you're gonna be splash. Splash! All right, let's sing. I look a little sweaty right now. Look at that. Because I am really sweaty. Today I'm doing one of my favorite things ever. And I guess mountain biking. Yes. My favorite thing ever. And today, as I was riding up this hill, I'm at Tucker's Grove, by the way. I was riding up the hill and I thought of a Bible story, all right? And it's one that you guys already know. All right. Everyone knows this Bible story. Genesis chapter one, verse one. What does it say? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Our God created this whole earth. And we get to enjoy it by mountain biking, by running, swimming, all these fun things. But do we ever take a moment to realize, huh, God made this. The same God that gave his son to die for you, gave you a giant playground that you can do whatever you want. In. And sometimes I realize that I don't thank God enough for this. I just go about mountain biking, having fun, and not even realizing that God gave me this. And he made this whole world that I can have fun in. How cool is that? When's the last time that you were outside having fun and you just said, hold up. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this place. It's beautiful. I get to mountain bike here. I get to swim, run, whatever you like to do. How cool is that? Now there's a few things that I notice while mountain biking. All right, one, the things that we have to get over. Now, let me show you a few examples, all right? So, here's the deal. I'm at this obstacle here, and it's a big rock. Whoa! All right, it doesn't look super big from here, but, oh yeah, it's a big rock. Now, sometimes, when I'm riding down the hill, and I see a big obstacle like this, I think in my head, oh no, I can't go over that. I can't do that. But the truth is, my bike can go over that, and I know that I totally can. So why do I doubt it? Because it's big and scary? Sometimes I do this in my own life. I'm just going about and there's a big obstacle in my life, something hard, something sad. And I feel like, oh man, I cannot get over this. But here's the deal. We've been given everything we need to get over it. Just like my bike can go over this, you can go over anything with Jesus by your side. That means you're reading his word every day, you're praying to him, He's right by your side. And when you come to those big rocks or those big trials in your life, you can go right over just like that. How cool is that? All right, let's go check out some more things. Woo, I made it to the top, guys. And let me tell you, I am really sweaty. Ew, it's like I just took a bath. Ooh, gross. But another thing came to mind. The Bible says that our walk on this earth and with Jesus is like a race. We are always sweating, trying to keep going. And we keep going and we keep going, but we're sweating and it comes, it becomes really tiring. But here's the cool thing. Jesus says, you're not alone in that race. No way. I am right there beside you. Just like he helps you get over obstacles, he helps you in everyday situations. Whether it's good, bad, sad, whatever it is, he's right there with his arm around your shoulder saying, let's go. You and me. Jesus is always there for you. The one who made this whole earth is right next to you saying, let's go, come on. What are you guys waiting for? Ask him to help you out. 
All right, guys, it's time to go down the hill now, and I'm stoked. But one thing you need when you go downhill is a helmet because there's a lot of sharp turns and rocks and things that can make you fall. And it reminds me of going through life again. I need something to protect my head because the enemy is gonna try to tempt me, say lies into my ears, and I need something to cover my head. What do I use? The Bible, the Word of God. The same God who created this whole earth gave you certain Bible verses that are gonna help you. And you can put it on your head to protect you from those things. How cool is that? So just like I need a helmet to go down a trail, I need the Word of God around me to go through life. Pretty cool, right? Woo! So, now that I've showered, because man, I smelt bad. Woo-wee! I'm all clean now, so don't worry. Now here's the deal. I went mountain biking today, one of my favorite things. I got to be in God's creation, the coolest place ever, Earth. And I got to see some really cool things. The w couple things I wanted you to know is that there are obstacles in our trail. And sometimes it seems like we can never get over them. But with God's help, we can get over anything, right? The second was that life is like a race. But we never have to go through it alone because Jesus is right next to us. There seems to be a theme here, right? And the last one was that the enemy is going to throw a lot of lies at you and temptation. But what do we have to protect ourselves from that? The word of God, also from Jesus. That's crazy. It's like the answer to everything is Jesus. I think it is. Jesus is amazing, and he's there for you whenever. So here's what I want you to do this week, all right? I want you to go outside and do your favorite activity surfing, skating, running, whatever it is that you like to do. Just go outside and then think about things. Think about how beautiful the earth is and how thankful we are that God gave it to us. And then also look at the little things. Like, are there obstacles? Are there challenges? And what do we have to get over them? It applies to our life with Jesus. How cool is that? You ever thought about it that way? I hope you do now. Alrighty, guys. Keep cool. I'll see you next week. Bye. Girls, grab your Bible. I'm using my big Bible today. And let's turn to John 4, 46. Are you ready? Okay. And there's a certain nobleman, an officer, whose son was very sick at Capernaum. And he heard that Jesus was coming into Galilee. He met Jesus and said, please heal my son. He's very, very sick. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. Jesus was saying is that we have to see it to believe it. Wow. Sometimes that's true, isn't it? We need to see things in order to believe it. But we've seen that Jesus in our Bible, we've seen him heal the blind. The lame man walks. He's done so many amazing miracles in the Bible. So let's finish reading. The nobleman said to him, Sir, please heal my child. They're dying. Jesus said, Go your way. Your child has been healed. So he went and traveled back home, and this child was alive. The servant came out and said, Your child has been healed. And the officer said, When did that happen? It happened yesterday around one. And he thought, wow, that's when I met Jesus and talked to him. And what did Jesus say? say? He said, go home. Your son is healed. Wow. I read this over and over again. There's so many amazing things in the Bible and they're all true. Jesus is telling us to trust him, not just on Sunday or on Wednesday, but every day because he loves you and he wants you to trust him. You know, sometimes I doubt him and don't trust him, but it's when I trust and put my faith in Jesus. He shows me signs and wonders like we talked about in the Bible. So let's pray and ask God to, to just trust him, right? He wants us to trust him every day. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for today, Lord. We start today that we will trust you, Lord. 
we know how much you love us. And we see so many things in the Bible that are, everything's true in the Bible. And just seeing how you healed the blind, you made them see again. And the lame man walk and children getting healed. We want to put our trust, we start today to put our trust in you. And we thank you, Lord, for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray.